salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah ala alihi ve sahbihi ecmain We begin in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has given us the opportunity to start our day with the masjid We ask Allah azza wa jal to provide us all the khair of this day and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all types of evil Ameen ya rabbil alameen As we were discussing regarding the quality which is very recommended for the believers to adopt in their life, especially when it comes to the matters of working for the life of your after. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in multiple places in the Qur'an speaks about the shortness of this life and the vastness of akhirah. وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِغَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ وَمَا هَذِهِ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا لَهُ وَلَعِبُ وَإِنَّ الدَّارَ الْآخِغَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ لَوْ كَانُوا يَعْلَمُونَ Allah says this worldly life is just for enjoyment and passing your time. And the real life is the life of Akhirah. So, we have been given order specifically by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to look for those things in our daily life which will make our Akhirah better which will beautify, rectify, and preserve things for our Akhirah. Things that will make us happy when we will see them on the Day of Judgment. It comes in the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that the things that will make a person happy and joyful on the Day of Judgment are his actions which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has preserved for them. إِنَّمَا هِيَ يَبْنَ آدَمْ إِنَّمَا هِيَ أَعْمَانُكُمْ أُحْصِيهَا لَكُمْ ثُمَّ أُوَفِيكُمْ إِيَّاهَ As Hadith al-Qudsi describes in the right of Sahih Muslim, the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and it's a very lengthy hadith, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, O son of Adam, these are your actions, and I will preserve them for you. I will count them, and I will give you the reward of them for you on the Day of Judgment. Whoever finds good that he has found in Akhirah, he should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because good actions are only the help of Allah azza wa jal through which a person is able to perform. And with the mighty and the power of Allah, a person is able to stay away from evil. So Allah azza wa jal says, in Hadith al-Qudsi, that these are your actions and I am preserving them. Whoever finds good in them, he should thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And whoever finds otherwise, فَلَا يَلُومَنَّ إِلَّا نَفْسَهُ He is no one to blame except himself. The only blame that this person can give to anyone is himself. That's it. You cannot blame anyone else saying, that he is the one or she is the one that had provoked me or made me do these actions. A person, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made him responsible of his own action. So this is why with our action, what we need to see, what we need to look for is this action of mine, is it making my akhira or ruining my akhira? Is it making me Preserve this action, is it giving me the opportunity to preserve this action for the life of your after, or is ruining my, my action? And it's making my akhirah worse. When a person gets this understanding, and throughout his entire day and every action that he or she performs, his main motive is to work for that life which is eternal, then this person has detached himself from the things of this world and he has attached himself for those amal which will benefit him in the life of your after. Because the world, no matter how much you possess, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it is only the wetness of your pinky. The wetness of your pinky. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that this world, no matter how much you possess, at the end of the day, it's just that one pinky of yours which you dip into the ocean and whatever wetness that you have received on your pinky, that's the world that you have possessed and nothing more. It's only that much. 
And imagine the rest of the entire ocean, it's your akhirah. So that is what we need to work for. No matter how much you get in this world, at the end of the day, you're going to depart and you're going to leave it behind. The only thing that a person will take with him for the hereafter is his a'mal and nothing else. And these a'mal that we need to be watchful over. You know, when a person earns his uh, things in this dunya, how he is watchful over. He has made a house, he's watchful over, make sure nothing gets stolen, nothing is taken. He has a car, expensive one, make sure he locks it, no matter, to, no one vandalizes it or breaks into it or, you know, cause any other harm to it. Anything that we worked for in this dunya, you start to take care of it and you start to make it in such a way that there is no harm that is going towards that direction. But this is something that is very temporary compared to the things that we are going to get in the life of your after. So that's why as we take care of our things in this dunya and we protect it, we have to take care of our action because these actions are the assets of akhirah. They are the currency of akhirah. They are the one that will make our decision in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to be very possessive. If you look at uh, Hassan Basri rahmatullah alayhi says that Adraktu uh, rijalan. I have found certain people in my life, and he's referring to the legacy of Sahaba Rubanullahi alayhim ajma'in. That I have found certain people in my life who used to value their time and their amal more than people they value their money. You cannot have them waste their amal. They will. They won't care about money coming and going, but they will make sure that their actions are being performed have been preserved and had they are taking with them in the life of year after. This is why whenever they got into a dispute, they made sure that they resolved it here before taking it otherwise. A person today because of his own ego, because of his own arrogance, he is trying to make everything good here and he forgets about the life of year after. But that is the real life as Allah Azza wa Jal describes, وَإِنَّ الْآخِرَةَ لَهِيَ الْحَيَوَانِ we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the understanding to work ourselves in that manner. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to give us the ability to bring this quality inside our life. Ameen ya Rabbil Alameen. Jazakumullahu khayran. Subhanallah wa bihamdihi. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdik. Wa nashadu wa la ilaha illa anta nastaghfirik wa natubu ilayk.